Okay, so remembering those terms that I just erased, let's go back and look at this actual question. It says, in a population of rabbits, some rabbits have black fur and some have white fur. Black fur is dominant and white fur is recessive. So in our case here, we already know that P equals black fur and would have the allele of capital B. White fur is recessive, so Q equals white fur, and its allele would be a lowercase b. And then it goes on to say 20% of the total alleles for fur color in the population are for white fur. So this doesn't say that 20% of the animals are homozygous recessive and have white fur. It just means of all the alleles in that population, 20% of those are white. And that is what the term Q tells us. So this question gives us our Q value. So we know that Q equals 20%, which as a decimal is 0 0.2. Q equals 0 0.2. And now we can plug in the equation P plus Q equals 1. So P plus Q equals 1. We can substitute Q. Q is 0.2. So P plus 0 0.2 equals 1. Subtract 0 0.2 from each side. And our P value equals 0 0.8. So what this tells us is that 80% of the alleles in the population are the dominant allele, or that capital B allele. And that makes sense because there's a the total number of alleles come to 100%. So if 20% are uh, the recessive allele, then 80% must be the dominant allele. And now that we know our P and Q values of 20%, and 80%, so remember that's the p-value, so I'll write p, or sorry, q, let's try that again, q equals 20%, p equals 80%, let's plug it into the second equation, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. Well, p is 80% are 0.8. So this p squared value becomes 0.8 times 0.8, or 0.8 squared. And that gives us a value of 0 0.64, which equals 64%. So 64% of the organisms in that population, of the rabbits in that population, are homozygous dominant for black fur. 2 times P times Q equals 2 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2. And if you plug that into your calculator, you get 0 0.32 or 32%. So 32% of the animals are heterozygous for their fur color. And then our last value to solve for here is Q squared. We know Q is 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 squared equals 0 0.04, which equals 4 so 4% of the organisms have homozygous recessive genotype, which means they would have white fur. And as a double check, we want to make sure that these percentages all add up to 100. So 64, which is 1. 100% equals 1. So 64 plus 32 is 96 plus 4 equals 100. So we now know all the information. And I'll summarize it nice and neatly for you uh, one more time. P, which equals dominant allele, equals 
80%. 80% of the organisms have a dominant allele. Q, which equals our recessive allele, equals 20%. So 20% of the alleles in that population are recessive. P squared, which equals the homozygous dominant genotype, we got a value of 64%. 64% of the organisms were homozygous dominant. For our 2PQ, which equals heterozygous for the genotype, we had 32% of the population. And for Q squared, which equals homozygous recessive, we had 4% of the population. So this is all the data, both for the total alleles in a population up here and the actual genotypes within that population as well. Thanks for watching.